Hi volunteers, I just wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for stepping up to help this year for VBS. I think it's gonna be amazing. Tammy and Jenny and Laura have been here helping me set up the stage and it looks amazing. Um, they've been helping me throughout the building and Laura's been painting animals and I'm just so grateful and thankful for everything that's been going on here. Um, I know a lot of you have been baking cookies. Um, it's just amazing. So we want to try to be here by 5.15 um, every night. We start at 5.30. It's a little earlier this year uh, for our preschoolers. We want to get it started earlier so that we can actually get them having dinner um, earlier because I know 6 o'clock was really late for them to eat dinner and there was a lot of hungry bellies and cranky babies. So we want to do that on time this year so that we can get them eating Um so we're going to start at 5.30. If you can be here at 5.15, um, I would like to pray with our teams. Uh, I think we haven't exactly decided yet what we're going to do. I think we're going to have the preschool meet in the cafe area um, with Sylvie and Jamie and have you guys pray in there. If you're on the first grade through sixth grade team elementary, you're going to come and meet in here with me to pray. Um, and the dinner people, I'll have you downstairs with Roger and I'll make sure I ask him to pray with you guys before you get started. Um, I think that's really important that we're going um, in the right direction with what we're doing and make sure that we're doing it for the right reasons and we're putting our brains in the right direction every day, every night before we get started. Um, just thanking God for what he's doing. We have almost 70 kids signed up already. It's only Tuesday, so we have four or five more days to go before we get there on Sunday. Um, I think it's amazing. So it's going to be awesome. So um, a couple things. Uh, if you're a leader or crew leader or crew assistant, the main thing is that when we're in the auditorium, we're keeping the kids corralled in their seat area. Um, if it's time to sit, we're trying to keep them seated and quiet so they're listening for God's word. If it's time to sing, it's fine that they're up and dancing in their seat area as long as they're corralled within their seats so that we keep them safe. Safety first. Um, the next thing is I've borrowed a lot of things this year uh, to make the whole church look amazing. So we're going to try to remind them to please don't touch the decorations. Um, and the stage area is going to be off limits unless they're invited up, because then I'll know I have moved things out of the way um, for kids to come up so it's safe. Um, other than that, uh, let's see, bathrooms. If your children need to take a restroom break, ask them first if they can hold it until we do a transition, and then everybody can go at one time. We're going to see if we can have a bathroom crew, um, a man and a woman at the bathroom upstairs, and a man and a woman downstairs. Um, to help. It won't just be them there by themselves, but there should be two leaders with each group. Uh, one leader can go, and then that way there's at least another adult there. Um, so we have at least two to one every time kids go to the restroom. Um, you don't need to be inside with them, but at least someone's there um, holding the door so that when kids are going in, you can listen, and then there's another adult there with you. Not that anyone isn't trusted. It's more for um, the liability so that no one can say anything has happened because we know that we're being safe for kids and we're being safe for the adults that are here. Um, I know they do this at camp. They do this at schools. Two to one is kind of the rule. Um, we just do it to be safe for everybody. So, um, Hopefully we'll have some people Then that way uh, you can leave one adult with your kids. That's really why we need people there so that we don't have to pull both, all of the adults from the group because there's only two adults with a group. So that way the one adult is always at the restroom for kids um, to be with the leader so one leader can stay back with the kids. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you're a leader, you're not really having to do any teaching. You're really just taking the kids from one station to the other. Um, you'll have a schedule on the back of your name tag. Um, you'll have a list in your bag of your schedule. And you'll have a list um, of all the children in your group. The list may change from night to night, depending on if we get new children. Um, sometimes we get new children 
every single night. Uh, the children will not change group to group. So, for instance, if, if Sally is in your group on night one, Sally's going to be in your group every single night. You just may get more Sally's. Um, if the groups get so big, we'll just add more leaders to your group. Okay, we won't split the groups. We'll just add more people to your group to help. Um, and we'll adjust that as we see fit based on need. Um, if they get so big that we don't have enough leaders, then we'll combine the boys and the girls, like first grade boys and first grade girls will be together in one group. So then we'll have four leaders together for that group. Um, I don't foresee that being a problem. Right now we have pretty good sized groups. Uh, we have anywhere from six to 10 in a group right now, which is really exciting. Um, and the surprising thing is that we have a pretty big fifth and sixth grade group. Um, so we're having some big kids this year, which is really cool. So I'm really excited. Um, please be praying the rest of this week that we have, um, more kids come out. We do have some kids that are not churched coming this year. Um, some kids that are requesting Bibles that don't have Bibles at home and some kids that are requesting information about our church in the children's ministry and they don't have a home church. So please be praying specifically about those kids and kids like those kids because those are the kids we're trying to reach. And um, it's amazing that God is sending some of those kids to us. So I'm super excited. I hope you are too. Please be praying for this VBS that we have some great things happen and God speaks to some of these kids and speaks to their hearts. So thank you again. I'm so appreciative for you.